Hello everybody, this is your family dental hygienist again and I'm back at you with another video and this one's a little bit different. In this one we will go over the basic structure of the teeth and what our tooth basically looks like on the inside. So very excited to go over this with you and we're going to label this diagram together. So usually we divide our tooth into two distinct parts. The crown of the tooth. So here I'm going to label crown and the root of the tooth. So the part of the tooth that's visible in the mouth, the part that we use to chew our food with is called the crown of the tooth. And the rest that we don't see in the mouth that is covered uh, by the gums and is embedded in the bone, this green part here is the bone, that is the root of the tooth. So the outermost layer of the tooth that I've drawn in blue is called the enamel of the tooth. Now the enamel is the hardest structure in our bodies, believe it or not. It's even harder than bone. It's about 96% mineralized and it is the most fluoride rich part of the tooth, the most protective outer layer. The next after that is the dentin. All this would be the, the bulk of the tooth that is made up by the dentin. Now dentin, is also another hard structure, but not as hard as enamel. If enamel chips off or flakes off for, for some reason, or if a cavity begins, the dentin is not very resistant. And then over here, the innermost layer you see here would be called the pulp of the tooth. And now the pulp of the tooth contains blood vessels and nerves that are vital for the tooth's health. They basically give the tooth its vitality or keep the tooth alive. In other words, which means that if for some reason the pulp of the tooth dies because of a physical blow or a deep cavity, then your tooth will die too. So now let's jump on to this blue line I've drawn here along the side of the root. Now this blue line indicates or represents the cementum. Cementum is another mineralized structure or crystallized structure that kind of acts as a protective layer for the root of the teeth. Again, it's not very hard. It doesn't need to be hard because usually in a normal tooth, this tooth or this area of the, uh, of the tooth will not be exposed to the oral environment. Only the crown of the tooth would be exposed to saliva and food and stuff like that. Now this round structure that I've marked here right at the apex of the tooth root is called the apical foramen. I'm gonna label it here, apical foramen. And foramen literally just means a small hole. So it's literally just a small hole within the apex of the tooth root that allows the entry and exit of blood vessels and nerves. And this red structure that I've drawn here, that simply represents the nerves plus small blood vessels I take blood to and from the tooth and moving on to this red structure here that just indicates the gum from the side in other words in scientific words we call it gingiva that's why you must have heard terms like gingivitis that simply means that your gum is inflamed but that stems from the word gingiva and the green structure that I've drawn here is the bone or the bone socket in which the tooth is lodged over here, your jawbone. So that was a basic rundown of what your teeth are made of and what are the surrounding structures around the teeth as well. Uh, I made this video so that you can have a basic understanding of the surrounding structures and the teeth themselves and what the inside of the tooth looks like because that's going to tie in with the future videos where I, where I will explain how cavities work um, also gum disease and I will talk about how to prevent cavities and gum disease uh, which are the two more main common reasons for tooth loss that we face uh, in the North American society or everywhere in the world actually. So thank you for joining me. Uh, for more videos like these uh, please subscribe and like and leave a comment and yeah well we'll see you in the, uh, in the future videos. Thank you so much. Thank you. Have a good day.